Are you hankering for another John Wick, but you're just kind of sick of Keanu Reeves? Then I recommend watching Nobody. It's the exact same movie. Bob Odenkirk stars as Hutch Mansell, AKA Nobody. He plays your ordinary, everyday, blue collar, run of the mill family man who has a secret identity. This is the Steve Jobs approach to action films. Take something that's working, put a new coat of paint on it, call it something else. At the end of the day, you still rip someone off, even if it's yourself. You might be asking yourself, hey Adam, what's the big deal? They're ripping off a great film, John Wick. You love it, we all love it, so what? Well, so nothing. It's really good, it's fun, it's got some cool action. What's different about this movie is Hutch has a family, he's a family man. He's got a wife, he's got a couple of kids. There is minimal respect in the household, probably because he's kind of a lame ass dude who does pull ups looking at his wife's beautiful face, Wonder Woman's mother. And he just kind of does the nine to five, uh, inputs numbers, talks to his radio, then goes home does it all over again. They do some really fun montages here of him pouring coffee, jogging, and just, you know, kind of repeating the day to day. That is until a couple of robbers do a B and E on his house looking for some cold, hard cash. To the disappointment of the cops and his own son, he lets the robbers go with a stern warning until the daughter reveals that her kitty cat necklace has been taken. So no, not a dead dog this time, a missing cat collar. Way to think outside the box there, John Wick team. Curiosity killed the cat, but it's not gonna kill Hutch as he goes on a fact-finding expedition to track down these criminals. As chance would have it, during a return trip home, a couple of hoodlums get on, drunk off their ass, start harassing a girl, and this gives Hutch all the excuse he needs to use some of that old school training that's been lying dormant inside. This is the best scene by far in the movie where he absolutely destroys these guys, but not without taking his own licks. Another way where him and John Wick kind of separate. Wick is very cold and calculated with his killings, whereas Hutch is a little bit more brawler style backstreet. He takes hits just as well as he can give them sort of thing. Unfortunately, one night of blowing off steam isn't enough for Hutch because it turns out these Russian bastards have connection to a much more important individual. That's right, one of the punks he beat up turns out to be the brother of a very prominent Russian investor, a very sketchy individual who we know is no nonsense. He, he, he beats guys up for sport. It feels somewhat familiar to John Wick, probably because it's the same exact plot again. There's an underground currency in this. There's people who know who Hutch is based on a tattoo. One old guy gets creeped out, leaves the room, bounces right away when he sees that tattoo. So they're very scared. He's, he's like Baba Yaga all over again. The movie is also the same run length as John Wick 1 at an hour and a half. Easy breezy cover girl. It's in, it's out. Not a lot of downtime. It's a pleasant experience, but it still kind of bothers the hell out of me that it's the same exact movie. We got a really old Christopher Lloyd in this. Still awesome. Rocking a shotgun, helping his son take out bad guys. At the end of the film, it turns into like a hard R rated Home Alone as he's Kevin McAllistering up different areas of the room for one giant kill box. That stuff didn't really appeal to me. The one on five fight, that's the stuff I like. I like that more brawly style. Once he gets guns and contraptions, I lost a little bit of interest. When the bodies all land though and the smoke clears, what we're left with is a nicely polished film, very competently directed. It's got good performances. It's got some good action. It's got a solid, if not completely formulaic story at this point, and it's gonna leave you entertained. So if you're looking for something uh, simple, something familiar, check out Nobody. Hey, congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you're not a subscriber yet, I highly encourage you to be. I mean, you made it this far, why not go all the way? Hey, let's go nuts! Hit the like button if you had some fun here. There's plenty more to come, so I suggest sticking around. Let's, let's see how see how crazy things get. <laughs> Big laugh.